Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Paul Zalzal. And I'm Dr. Brad Weening. On today's episodes, we're going to talk about the difference between a shoulder separation and a shoulder dislocation. Yeah, so hurt my shoulder. I've been told I, I might have been told I dislocated or separated it. Those are two different things. What's the difference? Okay, really important to clarify because the, not only the symptoms that you're going to experience, the mechanism that caused it, but also the treatment's going to be very different. So typically when someone says they have a shoulder separation or when a doctor uses that term, they're talking about when your acromion or the hooked part of your shoulder blade separates from your clavicle or your AC joint. So this is a model of, model of a right shoulder. This is your clavicle coming across and the chromium is hiding here from the back part of your shoulder blade. And this area right here is what's called your AC joint. And when that's injured, it's called an AC separation or a shoulder separation. Do you want to talk about dislocation, Paul? Right. So that's very different <clears throat> than a shoulder dislocation. So on Brad's model of the shoulder here, you can see the humerus, the top of the humerus, which is the humeral head, and it goes into the socket, which is called the glenoid. And a shoulder dislocation, as opposed to the separation we just discussed, is when the humeral head dislocates right out of the glenoid, and then is hopefully put back in quickly, either uh, at the site of the injury or in the emergency room. Yeah, so probably the big difference that the patient would experience is that when you have a shoulder dislocation, it requires some type of immediate management, whereas if you have a separation, you're going to have a sore shoulder, you're going to go to the emergency room, um, and then ultimately the x-ray is going to be what uh, differentiates the diagnosis of the separation versus the dislocation. Yeah, and the, and the clinical examination can help too. So we're going to talk more in another video about the treatment of each of those injuries, but we really just wanted people to understand the, the difference between those two injuries. All right, so if you have any other questions, please feel free to email us at info at talkingwithdocs.com. And remember, you are in charge of your own health. And if you enjoyed these videos, please like them on YouTube or subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.